Fuck recipes, you're a better cook than you think. Also fuck mango chutney. We're gonna do a vegetable spread today, real quick. It's so delicious, it's so easy, and you can use so many different variants of this recipe, let's go. Nuts, walnuts, use almonds, use cashews, use pistachios, whatever you got. Pistachios are expensive, use whatever you got. Veg, I'm using roasted red peppers. I'm not even roasting them myself, I'm using the jar type, easy. But you can roast off carrots, eggplant, you can use any vegetable that you got kicking around. You can use it as the base for this dip. Sweet, mango chutney. Get out of my life, there's more in my fridge, I'm gonna take it out. Use honey, use sugar, use the date syrup, use whatever's piling up that you haven't used forever. Aromatics, garlic, you can do fennel, you can do ginger, whatever you wanna do, I'm doing garlic straight up. Important point here, use any bread. If you add bread to a vegetable-based dip, it's gonna really help with giving it a rustic, kind of hefty texture, okay? It gives great texture. It can be just whole grain bread, can be flat bread, can be lavash, can be whatever you got. Whatever you got, baguette, it's just gonna give it that nice texture. Spices, I'm going cumin. Again, go into that spice cabinet and just start eliminating things that you have. Heat, I got two types of heat I wanna use. I got chili flakes and I got Aleppo pepper. Aleppo pepper is a Syrian pepper, chili flakes, any ones you got, but any way you wanna add heat. A little hot sauce works, using up those little packets of takeout hot sauce, fresh chili. Acid, sour, I'm gonna use lemon juice and I'm gonna use mango pickle because I also have that stuff from some leftover Indian meal. Salt, I'm gonna add at the end here and I'm gonna do it by adding a little feta over the top. Finally, herbs and fat, I'm gonna go with a little bit of mint and for fat, a little bit of olive oil over the top. Important point for all these videos, you do not have to do every single thing. If you don't have some of these ingredients, it's okay. You can omit a couple. If you factor in a couple of these elements, dishes are gonna taste more flavorful, more well-rounded, especially if you balance salt, fat, acid, heat. Let's make it. One day you wake up and you think, I can cook, I can do it, I don't need a recipe, and that's the day that the rest of your life changes. You don't need a recipe, trust yourself, you've been eating your entire life, get a feel for it, start creating, start failing, you got this.